Mwese abanze agira ikintu abwira Imana muri aka kanya muri ko ninjira mu ijambo Mana turagushimiye Lord we thank you Tugushimiye kuri Imana ikomeye We thank you for you are a great God Imana ihambaye You are a mighty God Imana itangaje You are astonishing God Turagushimiye muri uyu mwanya We thank you in this moment Warinze ubwoko bwawe You protected your people Bibiri na 2020 Nubwo twaciye mu bikomeye Even if you went through trials Nubwo twaciye mu miraba Even if you went through sorrow Nubwo twaciye mu bintu bitandukanye Even if you went through different things Harimo imeme baritandukanye We went through different pain Harimo kubura abashu We lost our beloved No gutakaza ibintu bitandukanye We lost Ariko abaye Imana muri ibyo byose. Turagushimye mwami Yesu. Uri Imana yo gushimwa. Tugushimye kuri Imana ishobora byose. Tugushimye ku mugambi nta kibasha kurogoya. Uyu mwanya utwemerere Yesu. Icyo rero cyawe ari cyo kigaragara. Ubwiza bwa bugaragara muri aya materaniro. Kandi imirimo yawe myinshi garagare. May your good works my Urakoze mwami Yesu. Thank you King Jesus. Kumugisha ubwoko bwawe. Bless your people. Bagiye kumva ijambo yawe mwami waduhaye. We are going to share the word. Bese no kugira ngo twumve ijambo ushaka kutubwira. Yo uyu mwaka wa 2022. The word for this year 2021. Kugira ngo ijambo ushaka kugira ngo tuzagenderemo. Give us a word that you want us to walk through. Urakoze mwami Yesu. Thank you Lord Jesus. Icyo rero kibicawe. Glory be yours. Amen. Amen. You can take your seats. God bless you on our behalf. Just wave at your neighbor, your brother. Amen, amen. Uh, we greet you all in the name of Jesus and we wish you a happy new year the year of 2021 uh, no Truly we wish that this year may be a year of blessing uh, I shall announce later but right now I'd like to share the word of the Lord with you uh, Akakanya, this moment there is a word that God placed upon our hearts that goes hand in hand with this year we've just entered we're going to read the book of uh, Exodus Exodus chapter 34 chapter 34 Exodus verse 23 to 24 uh, may the name of the Lord be glorified. Haravango ukumwa kutashe abagabo muri mwe bose bajye woneka imbere y'umwami uwiteka Imana ya Israheli ibihe bitatu. Amen. Amen. Makwena kana akavango ngo kuko nziruka kuko kuko nzakwirukanira amahanga akaguhunga ntaguri ngabano zawe kandi nta uzifuza igihugu cyawe nuya uboneka imbere y'uwiteka imana yawe ibihe bitatu uko umwaka utashye amen three times a year all your men are to appear before the sovereign lord the god of israel i will drive out nations before you and enlarge your territory and no one will covet your land when you go up three times each year to appear before the lord your god amen Ah, uh, This is This is what God has placed upon our hearts. 2021. Imana ikimara kumpira ijambo When God had just given me this word Yaje kumpa umutwe w'ijambo naje kuriha He shared with me a theme that I placed on it. Ah, no mutwe Imana yampaye cyangwa se ibihe tuza uyu mwaka cyangwa se umwaka twawise uh, this theme or the name of this year how we have named it this is a year of growing closer to God 
God told me in 2021 that I should tell you that this is a year of growing closer to God. A year of growing closer to God. May they read for us once again in the book of uh, Psalms. Psalms chapter 73 Zaburi Psalms chapter 73 Zaburi mirongo 23 Psalms chapter 73 Umurongo wa 28 kadusome Ariko njeweho kwegera imana niko kwizera kuri nje Umwami uwiteka ni wengi zuhungiro kugira ngo namamaze imirimo wakoze yose amen But as for me it is good to be near God I have met the sovereign Lord my refuge I will tell of all your deeds Umwaka wo kwegera imana cyane This is the year of growing closer to God Bibiliya itubwira ijambo The Bible gives us a word eh mu gitabo cyo kuva in the book of exodus ibishe 34 umurongo wa 23 kageza na kane chapter 34 ariko nanone ragira ngo nongeye niyegereze abantu badukurikiye i acknowledge those who are following us ku migaba nditandukanye upon different continents turabakire mu izina rya yesu we welcome you and receive you all in the name of jesus all those friends of hope in jesus turabakire tubifuriza umwaka mushya muhire and we welcome you as we wish you a happy new year umwaka wo kwegera imana cyane the new the new year of growing closer to god ni kimana yavuganye natwe this is what god has placed upon our hearts umwaka wa 2021 that 2020 in the 2021 this is a word that God gave his servant Moses he told this word to the Israelites in the time they were in more especially he was telling the men he was telling the men that they should appear at least three times a year three times each year and God shall fulfill three things that I shall tell you this time he was telling the men but today I tell all those who are following me this time they were counting on the man but today due to Jesus Christ we are all men who are witnesses to Jesus may you be a woman or a man or a child because Jesus took away all that at Calvary he raised his hands and then he told those who were close far away and he brought them close because of the promise he had promised us. This is why you also are men. You are also witnesses to the King Jesus. You are witnesses to Jesus. This is why in this uh, 30, 23 chapter, it tells us of every witness of oh man who witness to Jesus. If you are a witness of therefore these three times each year compared to these three times the first term started from uh, the January to the March the second uh, the term would start from uh, 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 the March March and the third term would start from the ninth to the twelfth these are the three terms that are here. and God would do for them what I shall tell you I would like to tell you that this year of growing closer to God is a year that God is giving to you. God gives it to you. But there is a condition. It shall not come by itself. 
He says the year of growing closer Which means that when you grow closer to him He also shall grow closer to When you seek him with zeal You also shall find him Which means that this year I command you to grow closer to him I want to tell everyone that this time people are distracted people are distracted many things are distracting men they are distracted by the pandemics we are seeing they are distracted by circumstances they are distracted by the times they are distracted by the times they are going to but I would like to tell all those who are following that in all this time that people go through and situation God wants you to grow closer to him God wants you to grow closer to him for when you grow closer to him shall also grow closer this is what the word tells us a round of applause to Jesus hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 We must grow closer to God. In Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17, it says that I love those who love me. And those that shall seek me with zeal. It means that this is a time to grow closer to God. And we should seek him with zeal. Things have become have piled up. They are, they are piling up and they are making you grow close, grow distant. From God. But in all those things, what God care, what God cares about most, God doesn't care about your situation. God doesn't care what you're looking at with your physical eyes. But what? closer to him. God wants you to grow closer wholeheartedly with all your wisdom and all your thoughts. For shall you grow closer to him? You because when you come closer to God, you look like God. And when you grow closer to the secular world, you assimilate to that. Because where you delay, you assimilate to the place. But today, the word that God gives me, the word that I can share with the world of God and the church of Christ at home, it is a year of growth. You must grow closer to God. And there are things that you must humiliate. Even if there are things that are discouraging you, even if situations last year discouraged you and it is possible and we see it every day but that is not a reason unto God because the reason is that you should grow closer to him for when you grow closer to him he shall reveal unto you he shall protect you he shall do what upon your life for the word told me that there is nothing that shall happen to God's person while God has not told them beforehand but today people are amazed or are surprised do you know why we are surprised it is because we no longer grow closer to God many things have piled up and they make us distant we are distracted by various things. But let me tell you this. When you have a friend in your day to day life, when you do not visit them, yet you used to visit them, you, do not, you no longer visit them. Sometimes they shall forget the relationship they had with you because you no longer spare them time in other words you've built a fortress or a barrier it is possible that you're not sinning but the mere fact that you no longer come close to your friend there are things that they shall no longer tell you they are distant from you 
kandi inshuti y'umuntu and a friend iye yahari byikubwira when you close go close to them they can ishora kukubwira ibiri mu mutima ko yagize ikibazo mu rugo they can reveal a secret of their home ishora kukubwira ikintu situation zimeze they can tell you of their day to day situation ari kiji utakegera umuntu ngo mubane mwegerane but when you no longer grow close to your friend habaho ibyo atakubwira there are things that they no longer tell you ntabwo azindi cyo gihuri he because they not they do not know where you are they do not know where you are in other words you've grown distant to them because you no longer have a relationship but the day for god told me to tell you that this is a time where you should examine yourself and tell your friends tell this gospel to them that whatever whatever is distracting people, it is good for you to do but the biggest percentage of your time should go unto God that this year 2021 such that you can complete it, you can walk through it not because you shan't go through it not because there shan't be thunders but because you're with the God who of authority he shall help you to go through all those azabashisha muri yo miyaga he shall help you go through all those azabashisha muri muri byo byose bibananije he shall help you go through all those that are discouraging kubera ari hafi yanyu for he is closer to you umbi byo bihe bitatu these three terms or times ichambere imana izirukana amahanga aguhunge Firstly, he shall flee the nations and they shall flee from you. Imani zirukan amahanga aguhunge. He shall flee the nations from you. No yegera. When you grow closer to God, amahanga yaragute ubwoba. The nations that were attacking you or scaring you. Amahanga icaricyo. I'm going to uh, explain what nations are. Amahanga gute ubwoba zaguhunga. The nations that are scaring you shall flee from you. Imani shinge. Praise Jesus. Icakabiri. Secondly, Imani zaguri imbago zawe. God shall enlarge your territory. Icagatatu. Thirdly, no one shall covet your land or your inheritance. These are the three times. And in all these three times, I want us to speak over these times. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God shall flee the nations from you. What does the Bible talk about? It says uh, nations are countries. But nations are things that do not give you peace or rest. You may be here and you do not find rest. You may have uh, evil neighbors or wicked neighbors. But nations are surrounding you. Those are people who are discouraging you or weakening you in the journey. Those that make you grow distant to that are a problem upon your life. But the word has told you that he shall extend who is hindering your life and they shall flee from you. They shall grow distant from you. They, because when you grow close to God, he shall separate you from such a person who can hinder the promises of the plan of the Lord upon the land. God shall extend them from you. When you grow closer to God, when you grow closer to them, God shall extend those promises and he shall take them from you. He shall send them away with the word. These nations that who are scaring you God shall extend them far from you people who do not wish good upon your life in this life we have them find someone sees you going they plan or conspire for you and yet they do not know who is happening here but the word told me in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 
that they shall conspire against you but God shall flee them in seven ways those are the nations that shall rise up against you as you've grown closer to God God shall always flee those enemies he shall flee those adversaries these are the nations that God shall extend he shall extend them they shall come and they shall flee from you in seven ways for this is what the scripture says these are nations Nations are those who grind their teeth because of you against you. You look wonderful, And when they see you well dressed like that, instead of telling you that you're smart, they start grinding their teeth against you. They start saying that you're proud. They start insulting you in their hearts. When, when you pass by, they say, ah, he's satisfied. <laughs> those are enemies. Those who are when you greet someone, instead they These are nations that God shall flee from you. These are nations that God shall extend away from you. He shall reduce them before your sight. He shall keep them silent before your sight. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The one who fights against you shall not you. You know why? It's because you shall have grown closer to God. It is because you shall have grown closer to him. When you come closer to God, it is great. It is something great. Secondly, in haste, God shall enlarge your territory. God shall enlarge your territory. When you come closer to God, God enlarges you because he's a God that enlarges one's territory. He's a God who paves the way away with the cross. He's a God who flows through the water in the wilderness. He's a God who puts streams in the wilderness where adversaries are where people say everything is dead and shall be restored for you. This is the secret you've come closer to God. Hallelujah. 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 Your territory shall be enlarged. What is your territory? It is in your workplace. You shall be promoted in your workplace. You shall be promoted in your business. You shall be promoted in all your ideas. Those are the uh, territories God shall enlarge for your life. Those who are conspiring against you that you shall never get married. You will be married because you shall have grown closer to God. You will give birth. You will conceive because you shall be in the house of the Lord. A man called Zacharias, his temple. God answered him in his temple. God doesn't answer our problems outside. God doesn't reveal his secrets while we're in the secular world. God reveals his secrets unto us while we're in his temple. This is why God shall manifest upon your life. This is what the scriptures tell us. In all you desire to do, God shall enlarge you in it. God shall enlarge you in the spiritual realm. When we come closer to God and we pray and have communion with Him and God reveals His secret unto us, the Bible tells us of His servant who comes closer to God. 
He was a man. Elisha yangera iman. A man told Elisha. Israel mu bihe yacaga mu bikomeye. In the hard times that Israel like Israel was going. Baba kana fit muhanuzi. They never had a prophet. Kubera yabaga yangera iman. They had a prophet because he always closer to God. Akababwira ibyenda kuba. And he would reveal the revelation. Akababwira ibigiye kuba. He would reveal what is going to take place. Uyu mugabo tubona imirimo imana yamukoresheje. We see many works that God used through in the spiritual realm he was great and even in the physical realm he was great for he had grown closer when you read 2nd Kings chapter 6 verse 8 till 21 you find that various works that he fulfilled even if nations had hanged him they wanted to bring bring back his territory but when we grow closer to god he gives us authority he's over everything we are going through. this man of god called elisha he was a man who revealed the secrets of the syrians and he would tell them of their plans beforehand and then the nation would be blessed and the nation would be protected and it would be protected just by one man when we go closer to God let me tell you this secret God protects your family yet you're the only one standing God protects your husband and your children He protects your wife and children He protects you also for when you appear before the Holy God and God is pleased with you there are things God takes away from you because you've appeared before His sight whether in the spiritual realm and when God fulfills all this praise the name of the living God when we come closer to God God gives us the strength to go to Zion in the spiritual realm we are given anointing there is an anointing to flee everything that can come before you this is what the word of God tells me hallelujah praise the name of Jesus God shall heal everything that trembles your heart. For when you grow closer to him, God gives you peace and rest. He gives you rest in your heart. God gives you consolation, yet there is none. God tells you that I shall help you that fear not God is consoling his people God is strengthening people in hard times these are people who have grown close to him praise his name hallelujah, hallelujah. and God shall strengthen the, hand, the, the hands of those who are discouraged for you have appeared before him this is a year of growing closer I am growing closer to God 2021 a year of growing closer to God 2021 it is a year for you to grow very closer to him praise his name thirdly hallelujah hallelujah you shall never desire your own land you shall never desire and what does this signify no one shall desire what is yours no one shall desire what is your inheritance no one shall desire what is your territory people come to things did you know that people no longer have thanksgiving because of fear 
When I thank God, they shall say I'm proud. When I testify, they shall say he always testifies. When I speak of the works of God, they shall say how comes he's the only one God uh, That is the spirit of fear. That is the spirit the devil has placed in the hearts of men. At times the things God does in your life are because of the things God does with you. There is no reason for you not to thank him. There is no reason for you not to acclaim his name. There is no reason for you not to testify of his name. Because God is, time, is, is God in all seasons. He is a God over everything. Hallelujah. Let me tell you these two things. There is something people confuse. I want to tell you that the uh, plans and the works of the devil when we come close to God they all grow distant from us. Do you know why they flee from you? It's because the devil does not come close to where the kingdom of God is. It is an abomination. Secondly that I would like to tell you when it is needed or required and you uh, live this life God strengthens you that there is nothing son of man can do by himself that doesn't come from the kingdom of heaven if it wasn't God who has allowed it to happen it means that everything that takes place God has allowed it to happen as a Christian when something happens just as uh, the death of uh, the son of the we should not fear we should not be trembled as non-believers. We should not be discouraged just like non-believers. That is a great man who has accomplished his journey. He, we shall also accomplish it. If we are saying that after this life there is another life, why should we be trembled or be shaken by what we are seeing? And yet we are always saying, may you give us a great end, Lord. What is the good end that you pray for or the God says is walking as a righteous man is doing good works and walking without that when you go we stand in Daniel the scripture of Daniel Pastor Francois Pastor Francois, God has done something great. Yes, in the physical realm where we are pain, but in the spiritual realm, we are praising and glorifying God. For God is God in all times. Do you know why He is God? Francois Francois is a priest. He shall manifest along with Jesus and shall come to judge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are the works that we are proclaiming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us read. Samuel chapter 30 verse 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8 Dawidi aherako agishu iteki namati Praise the name of God. This is a scripture that we are seeing once again. This is a man who grew closer to God. He's a man who lived with God. He's a man who was close to God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of a man called David. Hallelujah. 
This is a man who had grown closer to God. Among the men who encountered battles in the journey, this man was among them. But the reason he defeated all the times he went through, for in all the different times he went through, his mouth was full of thanksgiving. He was always growing closer to God. Not because he didn't encounter battles. Not because he didn't encounter tribulations. Not because he didn't encounter things to shake him. But his specialty is that he knew how to grow closer. He mastered how to grow closer to God. 2021, this is a secret code that shall make you go through 2021. Upon your life, this man called David encountered great battles that I'm going to speak of. David was the, among the men who were humiliated by his own siblings. This was a scar that would, show, that, that would have made him grow distant to God and yet would have given to him. But secondly, what happened to him? God, God made the parents of David forget him. Among the things that are painful is uh, your parents to forgive or forget you when a blessing comes in your home. But because David had grown closer to God, he stood over all that. Thirdly, among the things that pained him, ah, he lived with the king's soul and instead of doing good to him he started fighting against him but because David knew the secret of growing closer to God he had authority over all that David is the one who chased Goliath out of Israel. He is the one who chased the bad demons or the demonic spirits upon Saul, but Saul forgot all that. But when you grow closer to God, even if all that is, is that way, instead it gives you power and authority to look for a solution within yourself. And your solution is is that we do not look for it in men. David didn't look for solutions in men. He would come close and see what he had done and he would look for arms in But instead of looking for arms through men, David grow, grow close to the old man. He said that I must grow close to the because I shall always fall my Lord. It is God that I shall always The Lord Almighty is my shield. He is my shield. He is my shepherd and I shall not grow poor. Because of all the things that David had gone through. David that. went through hunger. David went through all that. This word we've read in 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. When you start from the first verse, uh, in this uh, chapter we've read, the Bible tells us that David had come from a sick it was a part in the Philistines. They had to fight upon the adversaries. And when he reached that point, he found that they had they had taken captive their wives and their property. They had taken captive the wives of David and his children. And yet he had brought special forces, 600 special forces. 
When they reached that point, they found bad news. What they found is that they had found that there, there, there was a fire that burnt all their houses. All their properties had been taken captive over. In other words, David had no solution for these problems. Now think of your day-to-day -day life. Imagine why you work. It's such that you can work for your family. You also work for yourself. But in other words, what they had worked for and what they had, the Philistines had taken them captive. In fact, they had burnt their houses. The second thing that David saw is that these 600 forces turned their backs upon David and they wanted to stone him. They started looking at him wrong. They started looking at him wrong. But because David had a secret, the secret of growing closer to God, of growing close and coming closer to him, he looked through all the situations he had gone through. And he said that all this is going to create thanksgiving. It is possible that you've gone through things that have trembled your shaken. Today I strengthen you in 2021. I encourage you that the secret that shall help you fulfill your journey in this world is to come closer to the year of going closer to God. The year of going closer to God. The year of going closer to God. When we grow closer to God, the year of going closer to God. When we grow closer to God, 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 when we we grow closer to God. God reveals to us where we're going before we reach the goal. When we grow closer to God, we are not surprised. When we grow closer to God, God strengthens and encourages us. But when we grow closer to God, God also comes closer to us. God grows closer to us. He gives us what we know and we do not know of. This man of God called David. When he saw that all this had happened, he said that I shall not do anything any longer. But when he turned his eyes back, he saw that his own parents had forgotten him. He saw that the different works he had done were not valuable. And he said that even if it is this way, even if we are going through all this, there is a man that I must grow closer to. A man who's different from any other. A man who's different from any property. A man who's of authority. A man who speaks and fulfills. A man who protects and wives and A man who sustains man. A man who's full of authority. And then he spoke of a great one. And he said it is needed, it is required. He went to a priest called Abiatha. Uh, my friend, brethren. He said that there is no one that I shall ask for consult from the Lord. There is someone who has been ordained for the Lord. There is someone who has been ordained for priesthood. Let me go and ask consult. He went to consult Abiathar. And Abiathar told him that I see no way before you. At times we see no way before ourselves. You look for a way before you and you find a way. You find your, you look for your way. You, you look left and you see nothing. It is this way. We must draw closer to the Almighty. We must come closer to the Almighty. And he grew closer to God. He grew closer to the priest of Abiathar. He grew closer to the priest of Abiathar. And he said that I, I do not see my future. 
izi ngabo zanya zibintu byacu ese nazazibona can I overtake these armies that have taken captive our property and our wives? The eighth verse. Listen to what the Bible says. Then God told him and encouraged his heart. He said, David, pursue them. Do not be discouraged. Do not be discouraged by what you see. Do not be discouraged by the voices you're hearing. Do not be discouraged by the circumstances you see. Do not be discouraged because you've seen your houses have been burned. Because you have asked consult from God. God shall go with you. God shall stay with you. And David, you shall lead this nation. And David, your children and wives will be taken captive you shall be restored I want to take Christ that there are things you've lost but come closer to God God shall restore God shall restore and he shall be he shall heal you all the wounds that you've encountered where you've God shall multiply and God shall protect your life and the servant of God because he knew the sacred code that the secret code of growing closer to God he had been given power and now I prophesy upon the prophet 2021 when you grow closer to God and you grow God shall go before you. He shall restore all your possessions. He shall build you up. He shall multiply your bones. He shall wipe your tears. Instead of being disgraced, you shall have thanksgiving in your heart. Instead of being a stone, God shall come into your possession. Instead of them saying that how shall God shall educate your children instead of disgrace. God shall rebuild your heart instead of saying of them I want to prophesy to you that your life is in the hands of God. The devil has no authority. Your authority is in God. Hallelujah. Oh, your authority is in the hand of the living God. And when God takes away, nobody can touch it. Because our power God is in the hand. The word told me that our God is full of arms. I'm more than a book. This is what the Lord said. I console I console Whatever you have gone through, be strong. And be strong. And be strong and stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm. Oh. Hallelujah. Yo. This servant of God, David, God uh, fulfilled great things. Because God had told David to go before, that God will go before him. And uh, God had strengthened him and encouraged him. Praise Jesus. David. David, the word tells me when he went ahead, he encountered an Egyptian boy. And when he looked upon him, the Egyptian boy, David asked him, David asked him, Everybody had turned their backs upon David at the battlefield. And he couldn't cross over uh, to those ones who had taken captive the possession of David. 
listen to what happened. Listen to when God is going to perform a miracle. Because they didn't have information. At times God reveals to us information. And information goes through men like us. Information doesn't go through trees. God can go through your friends. God can go through dreams. God can speak to you through prophets. But at times, for God to share right information with you, listen to what uh, God fulfilled. An Egyptian boy had grown weary. And then when uh, David encountered him, he asked him, he asked him, where are you from? Where are you coming from? Where are you going? And, and he said that I'm an Egyptian who uh, they had left him on the way when they had come to Ban. But because of fear, he told David that I know where your things that have been taken captive are. Then he said, do not do bad to me. Do not hurt me. If you promise me, I shall show you. David said, fear not. Go before us. I was amazed by David. David had the heart of God. Let me tell you, body of Christ. I wish that you would have the heart of God in this year. David had a heart from God. Listen to how he had a heart compared to God's heart. These two things that I'm going to tell you. Firstly, what shows that God spoke and affirmed it himself. When Saul had grown weary in his journey, God said that I regret why I restored a Saul, son of Kish. And then he said, the next he said, I, I see David, son of Jesse, a man who is assimilating to my heart. He shall do what I want. It means David came in the plans of God. Do you know why God, David had a heart of, of, of God? When he encountered this Egyptian man, he was with the, the 600 special forces. And said that they could cross over that stream. He looked through all the 600 uh, armies. There is trickery, a, a, a trickery that they used to do. Let us see if, uh, if when we cross over with these uh, 600 forces, let us see those who will come back. The 200 stayed behind and 400 crossed. These 400 men performed great works. They killed the Philistines. They killed thousands and thousands of Philistines. The, the whole night and dawn, he found that his children were alive and his wives. And every possession that they had taken captive was restored. They took so much ruin from that place. And it was all restored just as the servant has told us. May God restore everything that has been taken out of your hands. May God restore everything that is your own because you will have grown closer to him. for this is a year of growing closer to God. May God protect you and preserve you. May God perform miracles upon your life. Praise the name of the living God. I encourage you and I want to you be strong. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says these are great words that God told Joshua such that where he was going to uh, before him or uh, ahead of him it means that he could not see ahead of him 
You do not know even 30 minutes ahead of yourself. We are not saying where your vehicle is parked. What is going to take place after an hour, you do not know. Isn't it true? Do you know, is there anyone who knows in 30 minutes what will take place? We have illiterate people here. Mahamakarume. You are a wise person and I believe I affirm that you are wise. Can you tell me ahead of yourself what is going to take place? Let us raise our hands, Church of Christ. It is impossible. You cannot see it. But when you grow closer to God, God reveals to you who you shall meet. God reveals to you who you're going to speak to tomorrow. God reveals to you and God even tells you what you shall eat tomorrow let us raise our hands God told Joshua that such that he can be enabled to do all this he should go straight he shouldn't go left or right but such that he can be enabled in all he should abide by the commandments of God he should abide by his commandments Church of Christ as I conclude 2021 I'd want to tell you it is a time for you to come closer to God even if things are numerous even if times are hard but let us learn how to have authority over those times let us learn how to command seasons command and say that I shall go through all this by the name of the Lord I was speaking to a servant of God called Augustine there is something great that uh, God told Israelites while they were entering the promised land uh, he gave them great words. He told them, shall you reach the, a promised land? Always remember the holy fellowship. These are among the principles God gave them. Do you know why God emphasizes a holy gathering? Because when I see my, my sister Rose, I am encouraged and I am strengthened. When I see my sister Odeth, I am strengthened strengthened and encouraged when we have a holy gathering such as this and you see your brother you say may the name of the Lord be glorified and we raise our hands and we say thank God and we have all come to the house of God we have come and we are in fellowship and we give him glory and we say thank God this is why God loves so much holy gathering or holy fellowship and God fulfills great works and wonders in holy gathering or fellowships this is why we should take hold of these opportunities that God has blessed us with we should always use them these are opportunities that God has blessed us with. I want us to stand on our feet. Praise his name. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to ask a blessing for your life. I'm going to say these words and you're going to repeat them. Praise his name. 2021 is a year that God has given us to grow close to him. Raise your hands. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for us. Yeah. 2021, I give you my life and my whole heart and my mind and all my possessions lead me through this year enable me through this year so that I can grow closer to you so that I can appear before your sight enable us Lord our hearts are planning and our minds but the seasons uh, discourage us in the but Lord Almighty Lord Almighty, we, 
mu mitima yacu kutabure mbere yawe to never disappear before you uiteka lord almighty tuzamu ya maboko we raise our hand tubihamisha mitima yacu and we commit no ubwenge bwacu and all our mind Moko yudu ha masezerano just as you give us promises natwire nisezanyo tugusezeranyije this is what commit to you lord moko da umugaragu wawe yakobo just as as your servant jacob yabigusezeranyije committed this promise arabwa ngo nundinda he said shall you protect me and you protect me through this journey nazagaruka ha amahoro and i come back to this point in peace nzagushima i shall thank you mu byo wampaye byose in all that you have blessed ntabwo nzakuriganya i shall never cheat nzagutangira amaturo nibyashimwe namaturo i shall over ice and offerings to you no yenda nanange when you walk with me ndakwiyeretse yesu I show myself to no you and my family nabana banje and my children nabagabo banje and my husband no mugore wanje and my wife nibyo ampaye dutuzitwange and everything you blessed me udushoboze enable us to be his mihigo we commit mu mitima yacu in our hearts no ubwenge bwacu we take a note uzaturinda bibi preserve our lives from evil go kwarinze ya mesi just as you preserved the life of and you protected him from problems no kubabara and no pain and you enlarge his territory na tutwagure enlarge our territory too na tutwagure enlarge our territory isi umuka in the spiritual realm mwizi na ya yesu the mighty name of jesus senze we pray o witeka lord almighty wo mari mitima yakomeretse heal the hearts of those who are wounded imitima yabavandimwe heal the hearts of those who are imitima inshuti zacu of our relatives and friends imitima yaba yabera heal the hearts of the same uri imana yomora you're a god who uyu mwaka yesu we show it to you mwizi na ya yesu turagushimiye we thank you ibyatambutse ushize kandi tugushimiye ibyo uyu mwaka twinjiyemo tuzabana natwe kandi ukaturindira mu buntu bwawe uwiteka urinde igihugu cyacu igihugu cyacu kirinde preserve our nation ugiha umugisha bless it lord ugiha mahoro give it peace ukirinde imbago zacyo protect it ukirinde impande zose bice byose protect it in all provinces urinde mu president wacu protect our president urinde mu yabazi bwose bafatanyije nabwo protect all the authorities in the mighty name of jesus uzamushoboze mu igena migambi yose enable us in all ya bibiri na 2021 in all our programs uzabashoboze kubigeraho May you enable us to raise our hand. The name of Jesus. Tuzamu ya maboko tukwera ki gihugu. Tuzamu ya maboko tukwera ki gihugu cyacu. Ugishigikire. May you support. Ugishigikire. May you support our nation. Ugishigikire. Support our land. Uwiteka. Lord Almighty. Turakwera ki toro yacu. Mana turi kumurikiye. Uzaririnda ibyago. Uzaririnda ibyago. Protected from tribulation. Kirukanye umwuka wo gukenyuka. Rebuke the spirit of perish. Kirukanye umwuka unaniza. Rebuke the spirit of perish. Kirukanye ibi byose byabaye. Rebuke everybody. Muri uyu mwaka ushize. In this last year. Nibizongera kuboneka. May it never happen. Mwezi na ya Yesu. Mighty name of Jesus. Mwezi na ya Yesu. Mighty name of Jesus. Dushinganishe ibitorero. Yeshua. Mumara sa Yesu. The blood of Jesus. Mumbaraga zibitangaza in the power of miracles nibimenyeso and wonders mwezi na ya Yesu mighty name of mana yange mana yange lord my god nasenze i pray amaseza no asaya yiritorero the promises you promise uzaya soze may you fulfill it mwezi na ya Yesu mighty name of jesus kukurima ni soza you're a god who fulfills urakoze mwami Yesu thank you lord jesus tusenye itoro yawe kwisi we pray for the body of christ mana yange My God Oh ritwi kurure may you come urishira mu byose may you put revival abaguye babyuke may you unbind it abana niwe bahaguruke those who have been yeah. abasinzire bakanguke those who forget me they Mizi na ya Yesu mighty name of Jesus Mizi na ya Yesu mighty name of Jesus ibyapfuye bizuke turahanurira ibyapfuye I prophesy turahanurira ibyapfuye I prophesy 2021 
Hala mumoka. The sanibi fatika. Even in the physical realm. The chinshamba yawe. May your word. The karimanuke. May it manifest. Kani litejeke. May you command. Urakoze Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Ushimye kukubikoze. We thank you for you fulfilled it. Church of Christ. I wish you a happy new year of 2021. A year of going closer to God. Amen. Amen. God bless you.